Hi everybody, uh, we've just finished filming one of our videos looking at the California as it arrives on site. So I'm just walking back down into the main showroom uh, and I just spotted something on our used pitch here, California Beach. Uh, it's a little bit different. Uh, let's have a quick look. And I thought this would be a nice video to show you because it's quite nice and bright. I quite like this, I like the color. Uh, I like the look of the vehicle. I'm a big fan of the beach, as you know anyway, that's in there. Uh, so I thought, why not? Let's do a little video on it. I'll go get some keys and we'll show you around it. Right, so I've pulled it out. Let's have a proper look around this thing because this thing's grown on me quite a lot. So obviously it's in the yellow. Is it bright? Yes, it is bright. Are you going to get noticed? Yes, you're going to get noticed. But isn't that what this is all about sometimes with these vehicles? Let me know in the comments, see what you think. Obviously it's got a bit of a combination going on between the color and black. So we've got black wing mirrors that's on here. Uh, we've got the alloy wheels. They've gone black with the alloy wheels. Uh, they are just the standard normal alloy wheels, but they've been painted black. Goes really nice, I think, with the, the black sidebar at the bottom that's on here, the tubular sidebar. Obviously, we've got our black awning that's here. Previous customer, I'm guessing, for the vehicle, because this is a 2019 model, it's a uh, pre-owned vehicle. Uh, got some wing mirrors that's flitted that's on here. And I'm pretty sure that the vehicle's had uh, tints on as well on the vehicle, because this does look a bit darker than I would expect it from the factory. Uh, so I'm going to have a guess that it has some tints on the back of it. I think that helps to be perfectly honest with the color because it gives it that nice combination uh, between the two. Uh, come around to the back. Um, already got a bike rack on there as well for your bikes uh, to come on the back of it. Um, tow bar, which I can see. Uh, if I have a quick look as we're around the back as well, save us coming back around here again, uh, that's in here. So uh, obviously we've got things like our chairs and stuff are all in there. Uh, you can see from here, it's got the comfort mattress. Big, big plus for the beach. Been through it before, done lots of videos on these as well. Uh, I think these are great with having the, uh, the comfort mattress that's on there. Loads and loads of space underneath the back here. Uh, in the back, obviously, we've got things like the, uh, the child protection for upstairs that's in there. We've got the extra bits for the bike rack, the awning rails in here, the electrical hookup thing. Coming around to the side, we've got our electrical hookup as we, uh, on the beach side of it. It's on here as well, so that puts through uh, and gives you your socket on the inside, so you've got the electrical socket that's there. This is the three seat bench version uh, of the beach that's on here. So because of that, I have the option, it's got the dark interior which I think just perfectly suits this vehicle, I think, uh, with the vehicle, it'd be nice and bright on the outside. Uh, so you've got the darker interior that's in this, you've got two captain chairs, and then there's a three seat bench in the back, which we'll have a look at uh, those in a minute. All your door cards are nice and dark. That's there, and it gives a really nice combination. Uh, this is automatic, uh, so it's an auto. Uh, so it'd be the 150 PS auto. Again, those black alloy wheels. Uh, and then moving around to the front, obviously we've got the standard front that's on here as well. But again, we've got a bit of a mix and match between the black and the chrome that's on the front. Uh, so have a look in the back. We've got the three seat bench in the back. Huge, huge bed. Can't get over the size of the bed that you get in the beach uh, in the back of it. It's huge with this bed that comes out on the side. Uh, obviously the new version of the beach, the 6.1 beach, does have the pull out uh, from the side here. So on that one, you've got a unit that pulls out and you have the kitchen uh, that's here. But obviously this one, uh, base for the table, so the table can come across here. You have still got your, your hall to hook up, so you, uh, you've got a normal one socket in there, but then you have got your 240 supply if you're hooked up on the vehicle. This vehicle's had the auxiliary heater fitted as well. Uh, I don't know what make and model it is, I can't quite see from the, from the display that's on there, but you'll notice down here, so this is where it comes out from, from here, so this is where the, the heat comes out from. I can just make a name out on there as well, so I think it's a nervous batcher. And then you've got a little control panel for it, which is just up in the headlining here. Uh, so it's actually heating sorted out in the vehicle as well. So as I said, this is a 2019 model, so that's a T6. Uh, mileage wise, just done just over 37,000 miles. So nothing for this age of vehicle, the mileage that's there. So we've got multifunction steering wheel on here, uh, our controls here for our mirrors and, uh, and good things that's like that. We've got power socket on top of the dash. Uh, so if you've got a uh, dash cam or anything like that, that goes up on there. Uh, and Love these dashes that's on here because you've got your cup holders as well that's on the top of it. So when you're sat here and you're driving along to your next destination, you've got your cups here. You've got everything you need, really, uh, that's in there. You've got your rear heater controls are down on the dash that's on here. Um, as I said, I've, I've been a massive fan of beaches for a long time and, and they just they suit a lot of people uh, for this type of vehicle. So, uh, But let's put the roof up, get the last thing out of the way. So pull the roof back. Now, obviously, this is a manual roof. So just as it is on the 
current beach that's there. So look at that on both sides. And then as always, just give it a push and another push. And there it goes all the way up. Now, final test with something like this, you have to imagine it being somewhere. So North Wales, uh, something like Lynn Peninsula, um, somewhere up in Scotland by a lake. Uh, where's the other one? Down in Cornwall, for example, wherever it might be. It's in there, in France, in Italy, in Spain, wherever you might be going with a camper van, imagine yourself there with this and how it looks in the picture. And it says a lot of things then. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, I've enjoyed it because I love this. I think it's really, really cool, really, really good. So if you have, give us a thumbs up, give us a like. Uh, if you don't subscribe, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.